Hey folks, how are we doing? Oh, oh. oh right. Uh, just been in. Well, the batteries. I've had the battery charged the LTW for a while. Oh, I can't remember what video it was. We did go do a. We're going to start her off, and she wouldn't have it if you remember. A little while before Christmas now. Anyway, Don O'Day is looming. Don O'Day is looming. Today's Thursday, <coughs> uh, Dino Day is on Saturday, um, so it is looming, so I'm just getting her ready, so I'm going to get the battery on, uh, hook terminals up, check the oil, check the coolant, and we'll just fire up, make sure she fires and everything like that, we've got to just do the back end as well, we'll get to that in a sec, but let's get this battery done up. Right, so before I put the terminals on, I'm just going to use this, which is basically for getting uh, the cheese off, you know what I mean? Um, I mean, look at that. Hopefully the camera will focus in on that. Pretty, pretty vicious. But it's also got a, another one, so you can do the internals as well. Oh, <laughs> vicious. But uh, very handy, so you can just give that a... Good twizzle in there. I'll just clean these terminals up. Just like that. And just do the terminals like that. Oh. Say that for later. That is good. Right, let's get a get a bit of rag. <clears throat> Seems as we're here, we'll check the uh, oil first. full mark that is, so that's good um, and quite uh, quite important because when you put it on the dyno obviously uh, the whole point of it is you're putting the machine to the test so you want to you know she's going to be working all the oh, they all will be um, so you want to make sure all your oils are good and uh, and obviously your coolant's good because she'll get hot so let's snip up top and check the coolant yeah that's good basically all I'm looking for is I can see it above the uh, uh, the fins in there and I can so she's good she uses a little, you know depending on how much she's being used can you see me alright yeah depending on how much she's being used she'll, she'll use a bit so it'll go down but I'll say I, can, I can't see the fins so that's good notice we've still got the straight pipe on now that is gonna answer my age-old question that I've been wanting to answer for years and years and years is there any difference between the straight pipe and the stock exhaust so we'll find that out on Saturday right so the back end now a lot of you will be saying oh George why haven't you done it yet why haven't you done it yet it's taken you forever yes I know it has but you should <laughs> but if you'd understand how busy I am, um, full time working on a dairy farm, plus all the filming, plus all the editing, plus actually doing all the other things that go with living a life, it is this time of year it's hard to do um, stuff on the tractors and the truck. Like, I've got the flatbed trailer to do. I want to do that, but um, uh, so much routine work on the dairy farm this time of year that um, like when the cows go out either end of the day I can normally do a bit like you know in the afternoon you get the cows fed and I've got a couple of hours I can muck around with the tractor or whatever this time of year there ain't that you know there's not that option so if I don't get it done uh, between the milkings I don't get it done 
So anyway, right, what we got? So, I can't remember how far I've updated you on this, but this bolt here you won't see in there, but um, that is now all drilled out all the way to the back end. This is the trumpet house and this is the back end unit. It's drilled all the way out to there. Now I've got to get the mag drill back in there, <coughs> with like an 8 mil on there, and drill the centre out again, because um, I've sort of drilled all the bolts out, so where I had drilled the centre out, I haven't got that now, so get the mag drill in here, drill that centre out, but that's again for another day. Because then I've got to get that, oh, I've still got to get the, some new brackets for it, or new brackets made, new spacers for it. Um, because they're all broke, uh, they're all bent and knackered, so they're not they're not usable. I've done the ram. The ram has been resealed by NDA Engineering. They've done that for me. I've repaired the bottom, so that's all ready to go. <coughs> and indeed, I've got the bolts to go in the long bolts. But to get me going, I'm going to be missing the top bolt. Yes, but one bolt at the top of the housing is not going to hurt. But um, I've got some short bolts. Hopefully they're um, not too long and they'll do up nicely. So I'm going to put three of these short bolts in and um, then you know, I can use her. She'll move about, I can drive it up to Matt's if he, he might get here with a fast track and put it on the low load for me. Depends how busy he is but uh, if not I'll drive up there Saturday morning. But um, yeah, if these are a smidge too long and they bottom out before they tighten up, I'll just put some more, you know, another spacer on there, another washer or something. So anyway, I'll get these, uh, I'll get these bolts done up. All right, that's back end done, back up. Lift down's back on. If it don't look too hard, you wouldn't see anything wrong with it. <laughs> so. Uh, well, about really, well, we can give them a fire up actually, but we've still got a, we've got a bit, a bit of wind in these front tyres. They are really, really low. So we've got the T7 here. Uh, we'll just nick a bit of her, her air. But uh, let's see if she'll fire up first, shall we? Yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll leave you out here. gonna sound good isn't she so we'll fire a bit of air in these tires and she's about there she wants a bit of a wash but um, it's not ideal at the minute because it's freezing so um, but uh, see if we can get it tidied up anyway for the day but uh, yeah she'll make some noise anyway won't she oh, I'll just whiz the LT7 up Here, then I ain't got to drag around to the compressor. Only the front ones, so it shouldn't take too long. Back 
about 10 psi on this low one. Then we'll get it up to about 16, I think it'd be better. Right, so they're pumped up. Put them up to 18 in the end, 18 pounds. Um, just give them a bit more. So we are about there really, just need to um, check the rads at some point. Just make sure the rads are clean, they should be clear anyway. Um, that's about it really. Back end wants a little top up. I know they have to top the um, steering reservoir up, yes. She does weep out of there a bit, uh, but apart from that we are about there. Give it a quick wash as well, hopefully if the temperature allows. Should be a good one. So, right, so my question to you is, would you think she's, you know, gonna put out the back end? Um, well, they're 154 horsepower rated. I can't even think what they are uh, spec-wise out the back. Is it 130? Hold that thought. Right, so I've just, um, I've just double checked, I was wrong. It's 156 horsepower rated. Um, and she should be 140 horsepower going out the back end. So what do you think she is? Is she on the money? Is she below money? Or is she... She's like 150 horsepower. My guess is... Um, shouldn't I put her on that, um, that vintage dyno horse six years ago at the, uh, at the steam rally? And she was like 169 horsepower at the back end. Then, or it was 159 or 169, I can't remember. Um, my thinking is she's just a smidge over, just a smidge over. I'm gonna go 145 horsepower at the back end. What do you reckon? Put your thoughts in the comments below, and uh, well, Saturday we'll find out, and we'll also find out whether that there you go, that <laughs> makes any difference whatsoever. Because uh, we'll try it with a straight through and we'll try it with the stock exhaust. See what uh, see what difference there is. So anyway, she is about ready for the dyno day. Hope you enjoyed that quick vid. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to Saturday. It's going to be a good day. I'm going to see some, some, uh, some good old school classics making some smoke and noise. So uh, anyway, I'm really looking forward to that. I hope you lot are as well. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ta.